You're still on to Ivan Daybreak, and now it's time for the money motivation segment. Everyone wants to be fashionable. Everyone loves a nice suit, an amazing dress, a beautiful tie. Everyone wants to look good. But even in the fashion industry, there are still some business opportunities in the fashion industry, and that's what we will be dwelling on this beautiful morning. And joining us via Zoom, we have Mercy Emmanuel, an entrepreneur. Hello, good morning, Mercy. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, and thank you for having me. All right, Mercy. Now let's explore some business opportunities in the fashion world. So what are some business opportunities you can tell us? Okay, the fashion industry is actually very broad. Okay. There are a lot of opportunities from clothing to shoes to accessories. Mm. So it depends on which of this aspect or which of this business opportunity you want to embrace. And in clothing, is, clothing is actually very wide. Are you a fashion designer? Are you making clothes? Or are you a supplier? Are you an wholesaler? Are you a retailer? So the fashion industry has a lot of business opportunity that people can actually embrace. You can actually earn a skill in fashion industry, or you can just um, venture into any of this fashion business. All right. Okay, talking about you know um, developing a skill within the fashion industry, can you mention some of them for aspiring you know um, folks who want to delve into fashion? So some of the skills you can um, um, venture or you can learn in the fashion industry is like clothes making, shoes making, accessories like necklace, earpiece. And when it comes to, when we're talking about clothes making, it can be for male, for female, and you can just even specialize in maybe bridal wears or baby clothes a lot. There are a lot of things you can venture in when it comes to skill. Then you can even, um, be a shoemaker like a cobbler then uh, you can make necklace you can make earrings a lot a lot of skills that one can earn that one can actually learn uh, in the fashion industry as a follow-up question to what you just said and um, what would be the cost of delving into some of these you know um skillful um you know aspects of the fashion industry for example i want to delve into probably bridal wears what's it going to cost me to delve into that so if you want to delve into uh, bridal wears, of course, you have to go to a fashion school. So again, you're not going to a fashion school like a regular um, fashion designer that wants to learn how to make clothes because making bridal wear is actually very, very special because, uh, okay, we have a lot of fashion designers, but not all fashion designers can make, can make um, bridal, bridal wears. wears, can make wedding dress. But of course, most of them will tell you, I can make it, I can do it. But not, of, not all of them. So if, if you want to um, venture into brighter, um, brighter wears, you have to go to a, a recognized fashion school that you, you, know, you know at the end of the day, when I finish my training in this school, I will be an earth cake in the market. All right, Mercy, and you, you also mentioned that the fashion industry is broad. You, have, you mentioned um, accessories, shoe making, clothes making. A lot of people uh, have chosen the part of clothing Close, because you yeah. see on your WhatsApp statuses, everyone is posting okay. clothes, shoes, even hairs. Now let's look at the ones that um, maybe are not so rampant, like accessories. Now what are the business opportunities if I want to learn how to make accessories like the necklaces, the earrings? Sorry, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Okay, can I hear you now? Oh, I said that you mentioned that the fashion industry is really broad. Clothing, shoemaking, accessories, but a lot of people, they are into clothing because from your WhatsApp statuses, you see people advertising clothing, shoes, and what have you, including hairs. Now, the aspect that is not so rampant could be access to making of necklaces, bangles, and wristwatches. So in that kind of business, what are the opportunities you can get from that kind of business that is not so rampant? Uh, okay, I think we lost her for uh, a moment. A, a bit of so, um, connectivity yeah, issues. Yeah, so she's she talking about us asking opportunities. You no know, people have, everybody wants to make jackets. When they say fashion, people forget the necklaces, they and go all, about clothes. You know, yeah, just shoes. clothing. And I like the way she, you know, she talked about yeah. it. Well, oftentimes when you have fashion, it, the, the next thing that comes to mind is, oh, Clothes. clothing. You know, without taking into cognizance that your shoes are there in Even terms of shoemaking, earrings, earrings and all, especially for the women folk. Oh, Hello. I think she's back. 
Can I say that? Yes, I'm back. All right, yeah. Yes, I, I can hear you. But you had, did you, should I have the question again or you had the question before? Please take the question again because okay. I didn't you, get all. You mentioned that um, the fashion industry is broad. We have the clothing line, the shoemaking, accessories, hair, bags, and what have you. But a lot of people are into the clothing line and they've forgotten the part of, of course, a nice clothes would will complement a nice necklace would complement a nice clothes a nice earring and vice versa so in the issue of in the aspect of accessories going into the business of accessories as of course it's a fashion it's part of the fashion industry what are the business opportunities there and how can it be how can it be be you know enhanced. be enhanced right yeah and to make money from it Okay, so for the accessories, or uh, you can e you can either learn the skill or now to make necklace or beads, or you, or you know there was a time beads was actually trending. Everybody yeah, wants to learn how to make beads, so you can actually um, um accessories like beads, like um neck things. Okay. Again, we have I think the network people. is actually funny today. You don't but, want to learn accessories. So you know? accessories are also, you know, is broad. Um, beyond the regular um, pieces, you yeah. know, folks get it in gold or silver. Mm -hmm. You also I'm have back. bead making. Oh, she's back. Mercy, you back? Oh, yes, I'm okay, back. Nice. So, if, so if you don't learn these skills, but again, you want to venture in this business, you can be like a drop shipper. Mm -hmm. You can have someone. You can have someone that is uh, making these things that will supply you. Oh, then you sell you to sell? your customers. Okay. Yes, and again, you can be either an wholesaler, you can be a retailer, you can have a supplier, and you can be a dropshipper. You can have a store of your own where you sell all these things and you put them on display. And again, you can be a dropshipper where you have these pictures, but you don't have the physical item on ground. But whenever there is need for it, your customers will order for it, then you deliver to them at their doorsteps. Mm -hmm. So is it that you learn the skill and start making it, start earning your money? or you, um, you sell, you have someone that is making it, that, and then the person will supply you, then you start selling. But then can I even earn so much money as a dropshipper? Because I'm interested in earning my own money. So imagine I'm earning, I'm having so I'm a dropshipper, someone is making and I'm selling. Am I making so much money or I'm, I am dependent on the price the person gives to me? Or I, I want to know which is better. See, so you never, there's a lot of, a lot you can make from dropshipping. Mm. Drop, dropshipping alone is another topic. It's another wow. topic. So if, if you're in the fashion industry and you don't know how to make any of this item, clothes, shoes, bags, accessories, you can be a dropshipper. So that means you have someone that is making these items, the person supplies you, or the best, someone is making this item. So you get the pictures of this item, you put them on display. Then when there is order for it, when there is uh, when there is a customer that needs all this item, you sell to them and then your money. And again, your supplier is giving you at an wholesale price. So you are, you have a lot of profit at the end of the day. You sell to your customer. Your your supplier will give you at a price. Maybe let's say this dress is for five thousand. Then you put it on your social media page for seven thousand. At the end of the day, you, you are making two thousand. Wow. Yeah, extra money. Wow. And that is aside the delivery fee. Mm. You understand? Because your customers will have to pay for the, the, for the delivery of the item they order for. Okay, T talking about, I mean, th this is a very good aspect. That's right for those who do not have um, enough re financial resources to commit to this, you know, business. For those who intend to do the dropshipping aspect of the fashion industry, um, how can they connect to a reliable, you know, supplier? Because we've heard over time issues of fraud and what have you, but for someone who wants to delve into it, how can you get someone who will be reliable that will be a supply chain? Did you hear get my question? Okay, I think um, the network is playing the fast one again. But but um, it, it's quite interesting that, that angle. Yeah, we can yes. hear you. Okay, if you can hear me. Okay. So um, to, to uh, be a dropshipper, it's all about networking. So, for example, you saw a friend display an item online. You can easily check up the friend that, please, I'm interested in this business. How can I start? So I'm a dropshipper myself. And when I started dropshipping, I saw my, uh, my, my, one of my cousins display the item on that page. And I was like, okay, please, can you, how do you start this thing? I'm interested in this. I want to sell these items. I've heard a lot about dropshipping, but I don't have the contact. So it's about networking. If you see someone into the, that is into the business, you can actually ask the person, please, how can I start this thing? Can you please give me your supplier's number? Of course, I know some, some of our contacts might not 
release their suppliers number but at the end of the by the time you ask one or two persons they, you actually get a supplier a reliable one so when you get a reliable supplier can you are you with me can yes you, sure, can you have the floor okay so when you have a reliable supplier what the only thing you need again is a browsing form so you have someone that is a dressmaker that is making clothes or that is making shoe or you have someone or you have someone that that sells ready-made um items I, I like all these talking wears. I said the fashion industry is actually very broad. So like maybe someone selling talkie wears or or shoes. Eh? So once you get those suppliers, you get the pictures of these items, you put them on display on your social media and do. Of course, your customers don't even know you're a drop shipper. They know okay, Messi is into fashion. She's selling um clothes, she's selling shoes, she's selling accessory they don't even know you have you have a physical store but they know you have a page online where you put all these items on display so once this item are on your page with the right captions because a lot of mistake people make in drop shipping is they put this item on display without attaching the price without putting what and what they can benefit from getting this item. For example, I put a shoe on display. I actually, I need to tell you the quality of the shoe. Okay, this, I need to tell you, okay, this is actually a Turkey shoe. It's made in Turkey and it's um, solid, you understand? So, no, you know, Mercy, in all of the things you mentioned, majority of what I've picked up from the, the use of social media, because you mentioned page, contact, in shadows and all so just tell us how social media can really enhance or bring so much money from the fashion industry okay so either as a fashion designer you make a dress you make clothes or as a shoemaker or you just or you sell by fashion business you embrace your social media accounts are very very important starting from your whatsapp status to your instagram page your Facebook, because again, you're looking for customers and you know, you, you're, not, you're not really sure whether, okay, if you, if you get an order from your WhatsApp or from your Instagram or for your Facebook. So that's why you have to use all these accounts because um, others can come in from either of these accounts. Okay. And again, Insta when it comes to fashion, Instagram is actually the, the best plug for fashion items because you know, you have a lot of ladies on Instagram and you know, ladies especially are the um, um, the pr the prima <laughs> in the fashion possible. industry. Right. Yes, I don't know if that term is correct. It's okay, but they are the, they are the... All right, quickly, we just have to wrap up now. Thank you so much. I know I know you have a lot to tell us and how to teach us as a dropshipper and also an entrepreneur. But well, we appreciate your time for the want of time. We do not have enough time to listen to what you have to say. Thank you for joining us. Mercy. Thank you very much. Thank you.